the truss rod. Here's what a truss rod does in your base. We have a piece of wood, and you know, everybody knows you apply, a piece, you apply weight to a piece of wood, and you can make it bend and flex. Um, what we try for with an instrument is to have the neck sit in a certain place that is not exactly straight, but it's not bent to just any old degree also. So, when they build a guitar neck, they know they've got the strings pulling in that direction. The strings will pull the neck forward like that. So it acts like a bow from a bow and arrow. Now we want just a little bit of bow in our bow and that's so the strings can clear the neck as it vibrates in a circular motion like this. But we want to control that. So what we have is at a shallow angle here and a deep angle here we have a rod encased in here. And the angle is just enough to when pressure is applied to it, it pulls the neck back this way. Now the position that the neck sits in is a combination of the strings pulling that way and the truss rod pulling that way. And it's done so that there's a slight bow in the neck which allows the strings to vibrate around it. It also has to, something to do with your intonation because the more bow you put in the neck the further down you have to press the string to touch the fingerboard to articulate the note thereby stretching it sharp and that adjustment is down here very simple